Hi everybody. So, welcome back. Um, just wanted to let you know that I did a whole piece and my head was cut off for the entire piece. So, <laughs> here I am again doing another little intro. Um, I'm debating <laughs> whether or not to use the piece or use it as a blooper at the end, I'm not really sure. Um, long story short is the update on the Chateau is that I have booked myself a trip back to France, um, leaving on the 15th of February, getting there on the 16th. So I'm very excited about that. Uh, my visa um, application, my real and serious nature of the um, project was accepted. So I now have that certificate, but I kind of blew it in a way because uh, I realized there was only a year left on my passport. So I decided to renew my passport and now I have to wait for the renewal, renewed passport to come back to me until like before I can kind of apply for the actual visa and get the appointment. So uh, I'm hoping that happens in the next couple of weeks and kind of can move that process along. So I'm anticipating at this point, I just decided to like take a guess as to when I might have an appointment. So I'm thinking kind of May. So my plan is to come back in May, do the appointment, and then hopefully go back for the summer. So we'll see what happens. Um, my father and stepmother have booked their trip uh, along with my sister. So they're all coming at the end of February and I'm very excited about that. They're gonna be able to help me plan. <laughs> they're very elaborate. Um, they're very elaborate plans in terms of how I might phase it, how I might pay for it. Um, it's obviously a lot more than I had ever anticipated on doing in the house. I was really thinking I could get away with just sort of painting and sprucing, sprucing up bathrooms essentially. Um, so we'll see. I mean, I obviously would love to do it. Uh, I just have to figure out now how to finance it because I'm still, um, financing the whole house. So um, I think I've had a, quite a few people ask how I financed it. So essentially I took a, a home equity loan out on this house. And so I wound up paying cash in France because it's really difficult for Americans to get a mortgage in France. So I kind of knew I'd have to do that. Um, so yeah, so I'm paying off a home equity loan. So I'm basic, I basically got a loan, but yeah. Anyhow, um, so yeah, so I'm kind of paying off the loan. So I don't want to add, I, I can't really get any more money than the bank has already agreed to, pay to, to give me. So, um, so it may be a few years down the road before I can do some of these big plans. And I'm using my hands a lot. I think I do that. I'm a hand talker. Okay. I'm putting them behind my, my, my back. Um, so Anyway, uh, that's where I'm at. I'm standing behind, no, I'm standing in front of uh, a painting that I'm doing. I'm in the process of doing, uh, I got a commission this week, uh, which is sort of new for me. So I'm doing this painting and I'm hoping they like it. I'm not charging them anything. Like I didn't do a deposit or anything. I just figured I'll do the painting. If they like it, then they can buy it. And if not, no big, no biggie. Somebody else maybe will buy it. So anyway, all this to say, um, yeah, uh, this is kind of where I'm at, kind of making things up to put on to you <laughs> at this point. But in one month's time, I will be able to be posting again from France. So I'm super excited about that. Anyway, thank you for watching anyway, and I appreciate all your comments. I try to get through them all, but um, obviously there's a lot more that I can kind of get through. Um, but I do, uh, I do see a lot of them. So, and then also thank you for all the people who became Patreons, Patrons, Patrons, Patreons. Are you, if you go through Patreon, do you become a Patreon or are you just a patron? <laughs> That is the question that is unclear to me at this moment. Anyhow, um, thank you. So, a bientôt.
Okay, so I got a commission to do a piece of art and it's really big. So look at me, I've got a mic now. I'm very technological. Okay, so I uh, got a commission to do an art piece, a painting. Um, I've never really done one before, so I'm like, eh. Um, so I just decided that I would get, I would do a painting and if they like it, then they can buy it. <laughs> if they don't, then it's fine. Uh, they don't buy it. So uh, they wanted a fairly large piece. Sorry, Chloe needs to be let in here. Come on then, in and out, in and out. So they wanted a fairly large piece. Um, I think they really wanted six by four, four by six, but four by six doesn't fit in my car. So practicalities means that it's basically a three by five. That's okay. So I just thought I would show you, since weirdly some of you seem to like watching my painting videos, I thought I would show you kind of how I would, how I'm going to start. I've decided that I'm going to start this one by lying it on the floor. Laying it on the floor? Always been confused by those words. Okay. Mm. So this is the fun part. Uh, I basically just kind of got a bucket of water, some paint, and some big old brushes. And uh, kind of splash, it's like water, water play. Um, and I generally start with the reds and yellows because um, they, I just like the effect they have under all the other paints. So as a first layer, it's kind of fun to do those colors. And then they kind of bleed through. Let's see, what have I got? got my favorite color. I kind of like drippy paints for this, um, but my drippy paints are getting to be kind of empty. I should have bought more. Um, but let's kind of go with these. Yellows are fun. Okay. So there's different ways of doing this. I can either just have fun and throw water all over the place. Then, this one's a good drippy one. Uh. Um, you can see how it reacts with the water. Ooh, yay. This always makes me weirdly happy. the floor at the same time here. So just to give you an update on Chateau business, I uh, have booked my flight. So I'm going to be arriving in France on the 16th of Feb, which I'm very excited about. And um, my father and stepmother, who've been helping me with the plans, they're coming on February 26th, along with my sister, which is super fun. So I'm gonna have lots of input and help trying to decide kind of how to proceed. I'm kind of stuck in this place of, um, you know, my dad's done this awesome plan, <laughs> but I know having done a lot of uh, renovation before, I know that the reality of that plan is going to be quite expensive and kind of more than I was hoping for. Um, you know, I had probably a completely unrealistic budget in my head as to how much I wanted to spend prior to the initial, uh, you know, doing the first retreat. I kind of thought, 
probably, as I say, very naively, I kind of thought that prior to, you know, doing the first few retreats that I would just kind of do the bare minimum in terms of getting the place ready. So, you know, furnish it and paint and make it comfortable for people um, before trying to embark on any kind of major renovation. So um, I guess I kind of shot myself in the foot because uh, I demoed the ensuite bathroom to my bedroom. So I kind of have to deal with that. Um, what I didn't anticipate, I just kind of thought I would put it together back to the space that it's already in. But now my dad's done this awesome plan of like extending it into the rest of the, uh, the backside of the, um, of the house. So I kind of, now I'm reluctant to kind of just put a bathroom in there that would maybe almost be temporary if I did ultimately want to expand into the um, back room. So that leaves me with A, I either leave it as a gutted space and don't try and do anything until I'm ready to fully gut and do the, the big bathroom as my dad's plan, or I put in a temporary, or I do nothing <laughs> and leave it um, until I am ready, um, which is probably what I'm leaning towards most. I don't really need an ensuite. I can walk around to the other side. Um, so, so yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. It's like, you know, like anything, it comes down to money. Um, how much do I want to spend? How much is all this going to cost? So my plan when I get there, I think, is going to be to uh, is going to be to try and find a contractor and to start kind of pricing the stuff out a little bit. Um, and then, you know, then maybe it will be more obvious as to how I can phase the work if I do want to kind of do the bathrooms and whatnot. Um, so I'm just trying to take it super slow because uh, it's kind of a lot. Um, you know, this, this renovation, if I were to do everything my dad suggested, <laughs> I think it would probably be, you know, probably in the quarter million dollar range <laughs> would be my guess. But I honestly don't know at this point. Um, so, so that's kind of where I'm at, is just trying to figure out, I need to figure out a budget and I need to figure out when I can do the very first uh, retreat. So I have this idea for a retreat and I need to talk to my friend Nancy and I'm gonna be going up to visit her. She, um, she and her fiance have a, uh, a place on the lake kind of north of Seattle. So I'm gonna go visit her next weekend. And so we're gonna to get to talk about our idea. It would be an art type retreat, but I won't say anything more until I've spoken to her a little more about it to see what she thinks and to see how feasible and to see if she would maybe help do it with me. Um, cause I think it would just be me doing the sort of teaching, if you will. Um, and it's probably going to be less teaching and more just doing, doing of art. <laughs> so we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I'm thinking if we could do that in, you know, if I could get the place ready and basically comfortable by, you know, August, September, then maybe we could do it in September. So, yeah, that's kind of where I'm thinking at this point. So it means uh, a bunch of months of painting, lots of painting, uh, still more furnishing, um, and, um, you know, maybe doing some preliminary stuff for the bathrooms, particularly on that top floor. Um, seeing what's under those those sort of vinyl floors that they've put down, which are bizarre, and uh, going from there. So, yeah, anyway, 
me and my rambles again. Uh, at least you get to watch me doing art as, a, as, I'm, as I'm rambling, so maybe it's not quite so boring, I don't know. Um, yeah, I promise that by, in another, where are we? Yeah, another month, I think it's exactly a month. No, almost exactly a month. Uh, and I'll be back in France. And then you'll be getting actual videos from the chateau. So um, <laughs> I won't be having to sort of come up with ideas for <laughs> keeping you entertained while I ramble about what I'm hoping to have achieved at the chateau. Okay, well, that's it for, it's actually Saturday today, but I'll put this up tomorrow. And um, I'll put a, I'll put a, a, just a photo of the painting as it exists tomorrow, just prior to um, putting the video up so you have the, the latest version. Okay, talk to you later. Bye. Oh, abiento. <laughs>